and welcome to Library Salad. Today's episode is Spooky Halloween Charcuterie Board brought to you by the Monroeville Public Library in Pennsylvania. Good evening. Here we are, Halloween again, and we have tackled charcuterie, charcuterie boards before. I messed up the word the first time. Um, there was the one which was one of my favorites was the charcuterie chateau and we even had valentine's day we had a taco board but now we are going spooky and we're going to show you two different ways we're going to talk about meats first give you an idea of what to do with the dessert halloween charcuterie after this and so this is not an easy Halloween to find a lot of Halloween decorations. I was able to find the last one in the neighborhood. Um, it was actually on the floor at the store, open like this. Still got them to give me a price on it. But you may have something like this at home or you may have just spiders, anything like that. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we've got the head right there. We've got that piece and we're gonna build on it with the different meats. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be this way, so let's just do it this way and you make yours any way you want. All right, so first up, sorry, stepping on signs, we are going to start with the ribs. And that means we're gonna take, whoop. We're gonna, hold on. You let me know if I planted something wrong, Rich. You did it beautiful, just don't drop them. I know, I'm gonna hold it, give it a little extra hold. What? The reason we are doing a lot of the meat wise is because Rich happens to be, and I'm just not saying it because I need him to film every week, is an excellent person when he, for barbecuing, smoking. So, okay, so we got this. Now, next up, we are going to do, there you go. All right, what's next? The guts. All right, mac and cheese. Now, we're going to put just a nice amount, like, let's just go like this. All right, let's just go, look how nicely that fell out. Now, the easy thing about these things is that you can go as ornate, make as much as you want, or just go really simple. What I simply did is, um, most of the meats that you see, it was simply a trip to local grocery store. Um, not on Wednesday, because that's when the special um, items come up. And I just wanted the meat instead. So, now, what else we got meat-wise? We've got the intestines. Nice amount of sausage going around. Uh, where I found this it was easier just to buy it like this. Um, I didn't think it would look good as with the links, but if you prefer links on your sausage, that's fine. This is sweet. You want the uh, more spicy one, go for it. A um, couple of minutes on each side. And then, because in the pan, it's not as easy as the links. And then what I did was put it into the oven. Best temperature was about 400. It started at 350. 400 was best um, until it comes out at 160. Then next was as if we don't have enough meat, we're just gonna put a little bit on this side, a little bit on this side. This is, is this called shaved or is this? Shaved steak. Shaved steak. Shaved steak with a little cheese right on top. And it's easy if you have the steak, it's done. Throw the cheese on, put a lid on it, and that's going to, was the oven off? Was the um, light underneath it? Once if it you're finishing up, just Finishing up in this way, it melts seconds. it so nicely. And evenly, and, Last but not least, you see what we're doing here? We got the easy paper plates, all right? Less to do um, some hot dogs on the side. And then if you want to put, excuse me, Richard. Okay, if you want to just put any rolls off to the side like this, what we can do is we don't just go strictly board. This is usually a little more of a uh, feast type thing, so it's okay. If you're spreading it around, moving off the thing, and then now again, you can do it without meat, you can do it with meat, but you can add a couple but meat is better. But meat, well, everybody to each his own. But what you can also do is 
make this. Did you see that? When I slip on the grate, no, you'll know it. The camera. Oh, all right, all right. So anyway, I've got some fruit, some of the crackers. So this way you can start at one end, work up to the other, eat the grapes whenever you want it. A um, couple of side accompaniments would be, I always think when I look at this, I say carrots. No, it's not actually not carrots, but we've got some peppers. We've got some onions that can go off to the side. Oh, and may I just say one thing with the cheese? Interesting cheeses out this time of year. This was, the green was actually a Franken sage derby. The sage was not overpowering. Sage was very nice. And then this other one is a pumpkin spice. So if you want to spice up your straw curry board a little, that's the way to go. You might need some barbecue sauce on there. People can dip, people can put a little bit on the sides. We've got this. Let's just add, make him look a little bit more realistic. We're gonna have some hands. This one could actually look like it's reaching in. There you go. Didn't work as I hoped. Didn't work, but we get the gist, we get oh. the gist. Let's just go like this. He's reaching in for the sausage. We've got that. If you want to put some... He's holding his guts in. Let's say it looks like he's just holding it there. And let's say, you know, the family comes over for dinner, okay? Let the kids start. The kids' like, table. Oh, the kids, oh, that's it. That's it. We've got the kids' table. We've got some other people up here. If you want to just throw in a nice pumpkin over there, you've got your bread. So you can start right there with your appetizers, bring it up to this, and not just for dinner. I said that we were gonna do, and you know what, oh, you know, let's put the feet on, let's put the feet on. And there you go. Um, you want some extra bones in there, put some extra bones if you want. Or oh, what makes a nice bone is, if you have the uh, refrigerated bread dough, especially with the ones that are made for actually a Italian bread, at the end, just knot it. So you've got a knot, bread, knot, and those can actually be your, either the legs or the arms, but we'll go with this for now and has to be a bit much. Anyway, what, we, what you also might want to do is for an easy, dessert charcuterie. I haven't baked all these things, but next week when we have a uh, little staff potluck, I'll be making this for the spookuterie dessert. And here's a couple of ideas. A, maybe someone's brought in some cookies that smile. Peeps, I heard they were hard to get. They're not. Put those on. Here's a couple of other things you may have seen in the aisles of your grocery store. Look at these ready. This way you can bake these. It comes with everything, including the eyeballs. Look how cute that's gonna look. If you don't even wanna bake, we've got filled cookies already. We've got brownie kit. And if you wanna make it part of a party too, look at this, got the, got the cookies. You've got all of the ideas, the different uh, icings to actually decorate and then be part of your board. You can put everything from if you wanted ice cream with this, you wanted candy with that, and there's your dessert plate. Easy as this was. Okay, it took a little longer because you're cooking the meat, but Rich loves to do that. So it was easy for me. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> make your charcuterie board any way you want it. It's just a lot of fun for dinner, appetizers, or dessert. Just have a happy Halloween.